Webster's Dictionary defines anxiety as an abnormal and overwhelming sense of apprehension and fear, often marked by physical signs such as tension, sweating, and increased heart rate, by doubt concerning the reality and nature of the threat, and by self-doubt about one's capacity to cope with it. Webster defines fear as an unpleasant, often strong emotion caused by anticipation or awareness of danger. The Bible has up to 300 to 350 references to do not be afraid or do not worry. One such reference I try to cling to is from Matthew 6, verse 34. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's, uh, I guess, time to get a little bit real. So I... Uh, I'm on my way to counseling. Actually, I'm at counseling. I'm just early, so I figured I'd pull the camera out for a minute. And uh, the reason I go to counseling is that I've struggled with anxiety for a long time. Um, and it's not situational anxiety. It's general anxiety, which basically means that I could be having a great time doing something or relaxing or whatever and just suddenly have a, an anxiety attack. So... Um, I mean, obviously, we've had a lot in life that has come across, um, both, you know, related to just normal life and owning a business and raising kids. And, you know, then you put the extra layer of autism on top of that. And there's just a lot of anxiety kind of pent up, I think. And so I've been going to counseling to try and work through some of that stuff. So um, it's been... Uh, somewhat helpful at least to have a check-in point every week um, I guess if I'm honest I wish that there was just like a um, something that we could dig out that just suddenly goes oh look you're all better but I it's not, it doesn't happen that way so I guess the point <clears throat> of me sharing this is um, if anyone's watching that has anxiety um, or nerves or panic or whatever you want to call it uh, it's not something that you're alone in and it's not something to be ashamed of. It's something to attack and to try and work through and overcome. And the only way that I've found to even begin to, um, grapple with that is through my faith, um, through following Jesus, through worship music, through prayer, through, just refocusing my attention because when you're anxiety when you're anxious you can't really be anything else so um i have to keep teaching myself that and even none of there's even days when i say hey i know that that's what i'm supposed to do um but it's not happening uh and that's those are the super frustrating days when those when that's the reality so anyway that's my my soapbox for the day but um yeah, if you're dealing with anxiety or something like it, uh, again, there's nothing nothing to be ashamed of. It's something to attack. So uh, you can feel free to direct message us or direct message me if you struggle with that or if you have questions about it or anything, and I'd be happy to share more. But I uh, at least wanted to put that out there. So have a great day. So this is what anxiety looks like in my world. I don't know why. Stuff just comes on automatically, and I have just a a feeling of I don't know fear and like sometimes physical symptoms. And the only thing I could do is take a pill if I need to, if it's that bad, and literally immobilize myself for a while until it starts to feel better. So. Definitely not something I like to do, but sometimes in this, in my world, this is what happens. Gratefully, not as, as frequently as it used to, but it does and it's random. So that's what's frustrating about it. So this has been a particularly bad day with anxiety. And it's, it's debilitating in some cases. I feel like I have a stomach ache, but then I feel like just this weight of like sore everywhere and I 
I'm not sure how to get rid of it. I feel like I'm on the verge of like crying at the same time angry and frustrated. I don't know. I had my counseling this morning and we talked about like how to how to like trust God and trust in God's promises. And I've been I've been a Christian since I was little. Um and I just I feel like I don't know why I can't place that trust there. Or I feel like I have and it feels like So the analogy I gave today in counseling was that, like, if I'm with somebody else and they have experience in, like, a third world country or something like that, I can go with them because they've been there before and I can kind of be like, okay, where are we going to go? Like, who do we talk to? What do we do? Like, all that. And it's easy because, you know, I just, oh, they're right here. I, you know, I can do that. I can follow them. In terms of, like, trusting God, it feels like, Sometimes that I'm like, that I'm like asking, where do I go? What do I do? And I'm not hearing anything back. And I know that's not, that's typically not because of him. That's because of me and my distance from him. And I, I acknowledge in my life that my distance, that I'm at a point right now where I'm more distant probably from God than I have been um, in other times of my life. And... I just, I don't know if that's, like, it's not, I don't think it's punishment. Like, I don't think God's like, oh, you're too, you're far away from me, so I'm going to make you suffer and be anxious. But I don't know how, when you're in the midst of this anxiety, and all you want to do is just kind of curl up and see how long it takes to go past. I don't know how you reach back out and pull yourself back out of it. So, I don't know why I'm just venting this or, like, why I'm going to, include this in the vlog other than just to be real and to let people know that they're not alone. And I feel frustrated because I'm not here for my kids. I'm not here for Jess when I'm in this and they have to pull extra weight because of it. So I don't know. I mean, I don't have answers. I just, I wanted to share kind of what it's like to be in the midst of it. And I guess ask for prayers because that's where I'm at. And that's really all that's going to help because I can't seem to pull myself out of it. So I need somebody else or something else to pull me out of it. So super frustrated, but it is what it is. So we'll keep pressing on. I want to clarify so that there's nothing lost in this process that I have a good life. I have a beautiful and wonderful wife. I have two boys that continue to amaze me and impress me. I have a business that's successful with team members that are amazing. And that's what makes this so frustrating. It's not circumstantial, it's not life. Now there's stuff with life and there's stuff with, you know, living with autism and things like that that just add to the pile, but it's super frustrating because in all, most of, most aspects, my life is good. I don't have any reason not to be grateful. I see where God has come through in a lot of different areas of my life. But it's just, I can't shake this. And I don't even sit here and think. That's the thing. I don't know if other people that might watch this that have anxiety or struggle with anxiety or fear. Like if they can, if they sit there and like think... Oh, this is going to happen. Oh, this is wrong. This is wrong. Uh, this is, you know, this the worst is going to happen. And I'm sure that happens to some people. Um, in mine, that tends to happen for me when it starts to spiral. But for the most part, like, I don't, I can't pinpoint it. I don't sit there and say my life is, I'm fearful of my life circumstances because A, B, C, D, E. It's usually this feeling that I get, physical feeling, that usually centers in my stomach and like my, you know, upper 
GI, I guess you would call it, kind of like right, you know, right in here. Um, and then it starts to spiral into like, oh, do I have a stomach bug? Is this anxiety? Do I have something more serious? And every time I do this, I go to the doctor. Um, I get a bunch of tests done. The doctor says, you look, I mean, besides being a big guy, you look pretty good on paper. And it turns out that it's most likely an anxiety related issue. So that's what's frustrating to me because if I could just say, oh, I've got a lot of work this week, so I'm really stressed out. Like that would still suck to be stressed, but it would be, there would be an explanation that's easy. Or, oh, this circumstance in Tyler's life happened today, so I'm really upset. I'm really anxious and fearful. That would make sense. Or, you know, oh, Connor is making this huge decision about college, whatever. Like, I'm super stressed I'm for him. I want him to make the right decision. I want to help him make the right decision. Or something in my marriage isn't right, and so I'm really stressed out. Like, that would be preferable almost. I mean, I don't want bad things to happen or circumstances that require me to be fearful to happen. But at least I would be able to pinpoint and say, this is why I'm anxious. This is why I'm fearful. And I could go to God specifically and say, God, this circumstance I need to give to you. It's tough for me when I come to God and I say, God, this is like, I'm fearful and I don't know why. Take this anxiety away. It's tough for me to see where the victories come. Because if I'm a little bit fearful or a little bit worried even, I think maybe my prayers aren't being heard or maybe I'm not walking close enough to him or whatever it is. And so I just, I wish it was something that I could be like, Oh, this circumstance is making me stressed. God, take this away from me. Give me the strength to get through it. And then that circumstance passes. I feel better. And I can say, yeah, thank you God for being there and for pulling me through that. Um, so I just wanted to take a minute and clarify that my circumstances in my life, while there's some challenges, definitely for the most part are good. I have a good family. I have a good business. I have good extended family. I have good relationships with my friends. It's not anything like that. It's just maybe years and years of things piling up that I haven't dealt with. And that's why I'm doing counseling. Although we can only do that a little piece by piece. So in any case, I'm rambling, but I at least wanted to get that out there that this is not, um, this is not just circumstantial and it's not about me having this oh, is me. My life sucks. It's not about that. I just wish it would go away. I wish if it wasn't going to go away that I had peace about things, even if circumstances are tough. I was telling my counselor today, um, Philippians four talks about, um, approaching God and Thanksgiving through prayer and petition and presenting your request to him. And he'll provide you with the peace that passes all understanding. And I'm having trouble because I feel like I'm petitioning and I'm praying and I'm not seeing the peace. And I don't know if there's something in my life that is a barrier to me feeling that. Or if God needs me to walk through this season in order to feel that um, down the road and see his peace perfectly. But if you have any thoughts or encouragement, I would love comments or um, you can direct message me or anything too on any social media, but I would love to kind of get your take if there's anything that you can think of that's helped you during times of anxiousness. Jeremiah 29 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans for welfare and not for evil to give you a future and a hope. My prayer is I focus more on the Bible's definition of hope than Webster's definition of fear.